what a beautiful day, a perfect day for a game of hide and seek. So I'm going to take you to my favourite hiding spots and show you how it's done. This is one of the best parts of hide and seek I would say. A lot of good hiding spots. Like right here. You know it. Oh wow, this is the one. This is the one, okay? Watch closely. Don't tell anyone that. Another one. I'm gonna show you how it's done, all right? So, there's a really specific way to stand when you're hiding. And if you want maximum coverage from the tree, you put one leg up, it's a bit uncomfortable. One arm up. Kind of like this. That's it. There's also another trick where you can just be a tree. This is a bit more advanced, but I think I've got it down. So, you put one leg up. This is basically your trunk. One arm up and one to the side. It's pretty much how it's done. This is a bad example of a hiding spot because it's see-through. That wouldn't work. If you don't understand that, we can go into some more depth. Um, the fact that there are holes. Another bad example of a hiding place is a twig because it's too thin. It's obvious that I'm a person, I'm not a tree because, yeah. But this is quite nice, so I might take it. Actually, it's really heavy. Move on to the next location. Similar to the tree effect, you can also become stairs. It's a great trick because you obviously cannot tell the difference if you do it right, like me, and they'll just walk straight past. They might even walk up with you, and then you'll have to reveal your hiding spot. But it's a good one. A bit uncomfortable, but it's good for your thighs. <clears throat> so, I seem to be stuck can happen in hide and seek, it's a very intense game. I think I might need some help from the crew. So what's the beauty of hide and seek? I guess you get to be part of your surroundings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a good game. People think it's just for kids, but it requires real technique as you have seen. Do you ever feel sad or like lonely? When I'm hiding? Yeah, because you are doing it by yourself. Go, oh I'm sorry. Take note of how quiet I was. That's how quiet you should be. There is a trick that you can use with sound to deceive the seekers. I will demonstrate now. Say if you're hiding here, you can make a loud sound and they will come. And then move to your next spot. They will suspect nothing. So how long have you been doing this? Since I was about three, oh my. my parents said that we were playing hide and seek and I never came back. I um. guess in a way, I'm still looking for them. I think if you have parents that are talented as mine, that you know, 20 years later you still can't find them, then you're lucky. I think that's why I'm so good. No parents here. We have to keep looking. So, um, do you pray this with your friends or by, just by yourself? Oh, just by myself. People are selling my hiding places for drugs.